Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the metabolism of methionine. Methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid and it is an essential amino acid. And it has to be supplied in the diet. Other sulfur containing amino acids are cysteine and cysteine. This methionine, cysteine and cysteine are the principal sources of sulfur in the body. This cysteine is not essential and can be synthesized in the body from methionine. The presence of cysteine and cysteine in the diet reduces the requirement of methionine and this is known as sparing action. So coming to the metabolism of this methionine, metabolism involves three stages. Stage 1 is transmethylation and conversion to homocysteine. Transmethylation and conversion to homocysteine. Stage 2 is conversion of this homocysteine to homocerin. To homo serin. Stage 3 is degradation of homocerin. Degradation of homocerin. So these are the three stages in the metabolism of methionine. So coming to the first stage that is transmethylation and conversion to homocysteine. Here methionine condenses with the ATP and it forms S-adenosyl methionine. S-adenosyl methionine is the active methionine. So methionine first condenses with the ATP and it forms PI plus PPI. It requires Mg plus plus and reduced glutathione that is GSH and it forms S adenosyl methionine or active methionine. This is by the enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase. Methionine adenosyl transferase. So S adenosyl methionine is formed. The next step is Methyl group from this S-adenosyl methionine is accepted by an acceptor. And this S-adenosyl methionine, uh, the methyl group from this S-adenosyl methionine is accepted by an acceptor. And this S-adenosyl methionine became S-adenosyl homocysteine. S-adenosyl homocysteine. So, here the enzyme is S-adenosyl, enzyme is methyl transferase, methyl transferase. This acceptor, for example, norepinephrine, we can write it here, norepinephrine. This is an acceptor of this methyl group from this S-adenosyl methionine. This norepinephrine by ac accepting this methyl group, it, it is converted to epinephrine or it forms epinephrine. So, S-adenosyl methionine, it is converted to S-adenosyl homocysteine. The next step is, there is hydrolysis of sulfur carbon bond of this S-adenosyl homocysteine and it forms homocysteine and adenosine. It forms homocysteine. It is here it is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis of sulfur carbon bond of this S-adenosyl homocysteine. So hydrolysis it forms adenosine and homocysteine. Here hydrolysis of sulfur carbon bond. This is the first stage that is transmethylation and formation of or, or conversion of this methionine to 
homocysteine that is the first stage second stage is conversion of this homocysteine to homoserine conversion of homocysteine to homoserine here homocysteine homocysteine it condenses with the serine and it forms cystathione it forms cystathione by the enzyme cystathione in synthase cystathione in synthase this uh, this reaction requires or this enzyme requires plp so we got cystathione by the enzyme cystathione in synthase by the condensation of this uh, homocysteine and serine next step is hydrolytic cleavage of cystathione hydrolytic cleavage of this cystathione by the enzyme cystathionase cystathionase hydrolytic cleavage of cystathionase this is a cleavage enzyme and it also requires plp and by this cleavage it forms homoserine and cysteine homoserine and cysteine homoserine and cysteine here we have to note that sulfur sulfur of methionine is sulfur of methionine is directly transferred to cysteine and the carbon skeleton of this cysteine is derived from serine so sulfur is from uh, for the cysteine sulfur is from uh, methionine and carbon skeleton that is from serine so this is the uh, second stage that is formation of or conversion of the homocysteine to homoserine then stage 3 is degradation of homoserine degradation of homoserine so here homoserine homoserine it is converted to alpha ketobutyrate by homoserine deaminase enzyme first it forms an amino acid first it forms an amino acid and by the enzyme homoserine deaminase homoserine deaminase it is converted to alpha ketobutyrate alpha keto butyrate here water ammonia is released so homoserine is converted to alpha ketobutyrate by the enzyme homoserine deaminase this alpha ketobutyrate it is converted to propionyl coa or it can be uh, converted to alpha amino butyrate so first it can convert it to propionyl coa propionyl coa this is by oxidative decarboxylation so here coa sh is added decarboxylation means carbon dioxide is released and it forms propionyl coa it requires nad plus nad plus nadh plus h plus either it can be converted either uh, this alpha keto butyrate it can be converted to propionyl coa by oxidative decarboxylation or it can be transaminated to alpha amino butyrate alpha keto butyrate then it is it is transaminated to alpha amino butyrate and this alpha amino butyrate it can be excreted in urine that is here nh2 so we got propionyl coa so the end product of methionine degradation are propionyl coa and alpha amino butyrate so uh, from, from propionyl coa it can form succinyl coa so it is this methionine is a glucogenic amino acid it's a glucogenic amino acid then it's succinyl coa it can enter into tca cycle so this is the metabolism of methionine so coming to the metabolic role of methionine methionine is glucogenic because the end product of propionyl coa is glucogenic so it is a glucogenic amino acid then it can form cysteine 
So sulfur of this uh, methionine is transferred directly transferred to cysteine and carbon skeleton is from serine and it forms cysteine. Then next function of this uh, or metabolic role of this methionine is lipotropic action. Lipotropic action. Here acetonosyl methionine it can donate methyl group to ethanolamine. Ethanolamine from acetonosyl methionine methyl group and eth ethanolamine is converted to choline. And this choline is lipotropic and it prevents the accumulation of fat in liver. So that is the lipotropic action of this methionine. Next one is polyamine synthesis. Polyamine synthesis. Here acetonosyl methionine after decarboxylation it can combines with the putrescine. It can combines with the putrescine and it forms the first polyamine that is known as spermidine. So that is polyamine synthesis. So these are the metabolic roles of methionine. So this is about the metabolism of methionine. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.